The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Hannah Tete, has directed the Immigration Service to stop private Ghanaian recruitment agencies from sending Ghanaians to the Gulf countries to work as domestic servants without proper documentation from the Ministry of Employment and Labour Relations. The sector minister further indicated that she will soon take up steps to file criminal charges against private recruitment agencies based in the Gulf states for abusing the rights of Ghanaian domestic workers. The sector minister, Hannah Tete, made the observation at an emergency meeting with private recruitment agencies operating in Ghana and Jordan. Discussions were geared towards streamlining activities of private recruitment agencies in promoting the rights of domestic workers living in the Gulf states. Reports indicate that domestic workers are maltreated and abused by the foreign nationals and have to seek refuge at the Ghana mission in the Gulf states. Moreover, salary promised them are drastically reduced. The Foreign Affairs Minister was saddened about the development and promised to file a legal suit against those agencies in the Gulf states. Ensure that the people who you have attracted to go and work outside are people who you will ensure are not subject to any violence. They knew what jobs they were going to do. They were ready to go and do it. For as long as they are doing those jobs safely and without physical abuse, that's all right. But if they get into the kind of crisis situations we have seen happen over and over again, we, as the foreign ministry, will face prosecution should it be found out that you have neglected your responsibilities. She underscored the need for an MOU to be signed to streamline activities between the two countries while a five-member committee was also set up to discuss best practices. It is also important for you to have your own mechanisms and that means that you have to think about retaining some amount of funds to be able to repatriate these people when they have been abused by their employers and they are looking to leave the country. Because the fact of the matter is that when you are recruited into low-wage employment, you don't have the money to buy a plane ticket. Minister of Employment and Labor Relations Haruna Idrisu expressed concern on the low wages paid to the domestic workers. At times that many of them, I'm told, uh, you may share your own story, have to run to embassies without pay. Wages are not paid, salaries are not paid. And our immigration officials are also subjected to some of this uh, uh, unacceptable behavioral practice. Both the Ghanaian and the Jordan recruitment agencies pledged to introduce new mechanisms. We have uh, full protection for the house worker. We have uh, insurance. We have uh, office for uh, human trafficking. We are part of this. Uh, we are sharing with Ministry of Labor and uh, <coughs> police the immigration. We pay a deposit of 250 thousand Ghana cities and that is a major control on us so we are very careful who we send because if you don't if you send excuse my language rubbish in there and the person get deported is going to be taken out of this money and the final analysis you are going to be answerable to the Ministry of Employment 